Okay, so we're going to begin the meditation. We as a collective here on the meditation have brought in that we're needing easier solutions for basic support and consistency in those support, feeling supported on this journey, protection, courage, self-belief, staying focused, more clarity and focus on path, uh, connections with authentic uh, true people, pure-hearted people, and uh, open chakras to self. We want to open our chakras so that we can feel more on a personal level and curiosity, resources. We want our guides to help us see and sense out resources that we can use to help us on our path. Uh, support was a big thing that everyone was talking about. Pain relief, there's muscles, inflammation. Um, I feel a lot to do with even the throat chakra. So if, if there's some way that we can have a tool to heal those things by ourselves through the throat, uh, through expression or creativity, that might be. We had uh, create our creativity without judgment. So creating from a place of purity and I am ready to no longer fit into the molds of others. I am willing and deserve to be financially free. And we're just needing more support with not getting kicked down as much as being brought up. Okay, so we're gonna bring the tuning forks in and everyone can begin to start breathing. Do at least five cleansing breaths. Just breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. I'm just going to talk while I'm doing the tuning fork so you guys can hear it and Zoom doesn't cut it off. Let's breathe. And today we're going to be grounding into our soul star and into our star seed origins and then we're going to be bringing that energy down and our consciousness is going to be going into the earth star chakra to connect more deeply with earth so we don't really know what it's going to feel like but we have the benevolent divine archangels and ascended masters thank you for joining us and protecting our space for us to feel free in a place of protection to experience and express anything that comes to mind or body or soul. Breathe again. And so you can imagine a planet or a galaxy from the cosmos one that is in resonance to you. It can be your starseed origin, or it can be an ally that's really wanting to bring something through for you that is needed most for you or a group member. We're all collaborating here to bring our resources together. So you're gonna see a chord. If you don't have a visual, just Feel a cord coming down from the cosmos, looking for your soul star, coming down through the stars and connecting to your soul star. And you are connecting to your higher self and our, how our soul stars are connecting to one another. And allow that cord of energy of resources, of support, courage, freedom of creativity, financial freedom to find a way, a means to be supported in a bigger way, to feel that we are on the right path and to truly show us that path each and every day. So it's easier for our devoted person, our devoted human to remain there. 
make it brighter for us through the darkest shadows of time right now we need a stronger light of truth we're going to bring that light down into the crown chakra into the bone of the skull into the brain coming down into the senses your third eye is being activated bring it down into the throat chakra really swirl this energy around let those dust particles get swept up and cleaned out right now we can have a vacuum from the cosmos just sucking up things that we don't need these things that self-sabotage us over and over when we've shown our action towards not wanting them in our lives anymore if they're habits or people addictions of any sort attachments loops just allow them to swirl, swirl up and be sucked out and transmuted into support support and in a place of gratitude, oneness. Always take Gaia with you. Always take the whole of this place that we are on with your manifestations of self. And coming down, clearing out the shoulders, a lot of tension, weight of the world is on our shoulders. We're not wanting too much density when we go into Gaia today. We're wanting to be the earthworm that breaks up the density of the soil and supports Gaia in thriving. So I'm just waiting for the tension on my shoulders to alleviate. So just focus on your shoulders. This is a lot of burden. So give yourself a lot of self-forgiveness and gratitude for the burdens that we carry. Release that of which is not yours. So they're wiping away burdens from the memory as well. So often these come back to haunt us as well, regrets and things like that. But we know this is a, a simulation for experience. So we don't, we don't need regret. We don't need to hold on to the guilt and the shame. Just brush it off. Okay, we're going to drop into the heart chakra. Lots of jade green, just expand it. We're gonna open up our heart into our protective individual capsules. We're just gonna fill, just open up your heart chakra. Allow that green jade color, orange. I see a little bit of orange with gold and yellow. So whatever colors you're seeing, just let them flow out of your heart. You can have all the colors of the rainbow, your chakras coming out. You might see one in particular, make a note of it. It's part of your path. So and fill your capsule with the gift of your talents, your masteries, your senses. This is your own protection. We need to trust ourselves a lot more. Know that you are your support. 
We're just going to put flames around the capsule, not inside your capsule, but on the outside. This is the support to burn off things that come near you, that trigger self-sabotage, as well as this is ignition of fire like a rocket, and this capsule will fly. Every time you ignite it, you are sending that intention that you wish to be freed from any self-sabotage triggers or non-support that you're feeling. So just activate that fire around your capsule and open your heart to yourself, to your senses. Whenever you don't feel supported, come here, clear your mind, feel the support. We're just gonna encapsulate in the fire. We're gonna bring that cord from the soul star chakra down into the solar plex. So we're gonna get an upgrade on our intuition from our higher self. Okay, so you can accept that from the energy through your higher self. Again, they're bringing that into the third eye as well. So there's a lot of um, connecting the third eye to our chakras being done today. There's a pain in the neck I heard. So um, it can't even be with our digestion. It, some of us will have digestive issues but in a whole, it's just the way we're digesting energy versus matter. So matter of fact, it might be literal digestive issues, but in like a metaphoric standpoint, we're all digesting energy and matter. And this is where we're actually getting disconnected or confused. So there's a pain in the neck. It's a problem. It's a, it's an annoyance. It's a trigger. Find meaning in energy and matter. Energy versus matter. We'll do that after. Okay. We're gonna bring that cord down into the solar, or sorry, the sacral. If you can put your hand, whatever hand you're guided to on your sacral chakra, you can also put it in between your sacral and solar, wherever you're guided to, just place that hand there. Connect with your higher self right now. We're just gonna have a moment of silence and just ask your higher self to bring forward into your purpose and passion just connect with that and i'll start talking again in about a minute
もうらしゃらもかてらことらばしやことらまき、どうななしゃやとらましゃひやとらしゃ、こうなましやと、まっさなもかとらばしやとらましゃて、もうらましゃひやとららし、ごしゃなまかてらことらまかた、でことらましやとらましえた、でさことのまかティラコトのまかた。So they're placing both my hands on the back of my sacral chakra, palms on, or facing. ボーラマシャイエトのまかたイエトのまかたイセノモシエト。Peace and quiet is such a gift to the womb. ボーサナマカティラコト。Like sleep for the body and the mind. Quiet the mind. Be in a place of incandescent glow, infrared glow. Breathe into the womb or your belly. They're showing the difficulties that we have, the obstacles. All our organs are pretty much in our womb, our stomach, our kidneys, our liver, intestines. Think how long our intestines are. All jam packed into our sacral chakra area, solar plex. We do need support, don't we? On our journey, our path is in our sacral too. Our purpose, those obstacles. It's like a land mind. And if we don't treat it right, if we're not careful, we can run into problems, literally or metaphorically. So always nurture the womb, always nurture your passion. Make sure your action is inspired. Make sure it's fueled. Properly with the perfect amount of fuel to set you on your path. Understanding your temple will help you so much on this journey. It is a gift. Learn how to use it. We have more support than we even can comprehend at a minute level. Move past the obstacles. You are beginning to be ready to ground. Bring your cord from your higher self and soul star origins into the root chakra. You can now see a beam of light through your chakras illuminated. You're very stabilized right now in the root chakra. I'm seeing a lot of density. Like our roots are turned off, which、I've, I feel that. It's complacency, boredom, same narrative, disappointment, defeated, run down, financial troubles, not even anger anymore, boredom. Just this feeling of meh. So let's bring light red color. You can have a fire 
or like a laser is what I'm seeing, but more with a dimmed hue. So you can bring like a beautiful incandescent red, inferior or infrared red color, healing, soothing, nurturing. And bring that red all through the capsule, understanding that you are worthy, you are needed to be here in this environment and you are safe and secure and protected. And now I want you to bring that red color outside of your, or outside of your capsule and fill your room with it. Fill the house with it, any other people in your house, surround them in this energy. Create a safe environment for yourself. Put focus and motivation in that light so that you are very creative in this environment of your room and your house. And extend it out into your street and out to places you shop, your city. And then expand it to everyone here and everyone else that you interact with and everyone else that you're going to interact with. You will know if you're centered, good things to interact with and not such good things to interact with. So if you're confused, recenter. Okay, return back to self. Reside in your heart and we're gonna connect down to the earth star chakra. And bring your consciousness down into the earth star. And from there, we're gonna bring the cord, just the cord down to Gaia. And just like veins, we're gonna go through Gaia all around her. Even if it's a flat earth, just imagine the sphere of energy around her. The sphere is oneness. If we go into the laws of the universe, the law of oneness is a sphere. So even if it's flat, we have a sphere of oneness around Gaia. And find the center of Gaia and wrap that cord around her. We are anchored in and just bring your consciousness into the earth star chakra or the earth chakra, whatever you refer to it as. We're just going to take one minute of silence and then we'll open up the mics for whoever wants to investigate the chakra. So just take a minute of silence.
I can see your cat breathing. Aw, hi kitty. Meow. Okay, so I saw very simplicity in the earth star and um, just earth and worms. And it was very much like that simplicity energy. Rebecca, do you wanna come in? Any visuals? It's not like a real grounding and I felt like so connected to my heart, you know? to the whole time I was like, and it was just stabilizing. Like I kind of like my mind kind of shut up a bit. I got a little bit more tired. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Do you um, feel anything in the earth chakra? I felt, I felt like it was supportive, you know? Like I was just centering, but even when we were going through the visualization, um, mostly I was just getting these sensations in my head and like in the back of my like low skull is like on both sides so like when we connected to the earth and I was trying to compare the feeling to see if it changed I mean it wasn't as intense I guess you know mm. when we started grounding um, but that's what I noticed when um, before that was just like wow there is so so much pressure I mean there are it's just it's different it's been in different areas like in my third eye for sure I feel it but then it's also like in the back of my skull too like for sure a lot of connecting with the third eye for some reason it was uh, very important I'm just going to keep us in the earth chakra yeah while we talk and if anybody sees anything else in the Earth Star, I feel like there's an like expansion in like the ribs too, almost like underneath, like the in between, like the heart and the the solar plexus too. Okay. Like at least for me, it's an area that's been like feeling a lot of restriction. So I felt that more expand. I do kind of feel like almost like a like an air bubble under my ribs. Like, a, you know, when you kind of got like a, a burp, but it's not, you're like, oh. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just gonna attach to an earthworm and go through the soil. So it's taking us back to the sacral. I think a lot of this is digestion, right? Because the worm and the soil, we um, they just digest the earth and it's needed. And I think like all of our purpose and our confusion is in that sacral, like I almost want to go into the sacral more. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes, that's for me, it's like it feels really vulnerable and like raw. And I definitely want to go into it more just okay. to see what's there because it's like coming up as like physical symptoms. And I feel like Earth is trying to help us with our sacral. Mm -hmm. When we first, oh, sacral. yeah. When we first went to the sacral, uh, it got really dark and a shark appeared and was like darting around me and darting around me and then came and like looked directly in the eyes and I'm like, what are you doing here? <gasps> then it backed up and I was like, <sighs> and I was like, go into your heart. And as soon as I went into my heart, its whole belly got slashed open and it was like, a, I have like this crazy pressure on the top of my head right now. Its belly got ripped open and it was like a pinata all this candy fell out and then it turned belly up and floated up and floated away so I think it was like um, something to do with being too much in the mind and not in the heart uh, that was going on in the sacral and also in the 
in the 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 soul uh, the earth star there was this spiral that was coming up and going to the top and coming back down and then it became it was like this inverted tornado that was like coming up and like going back in itself like this moving the energy up and down the body but it wasn't going into the earth or into the cosmos it was staying inside of the field of the body mm. um, was happening when we went there but yeah I think going into the sacral more is sounds amazing yeah that's cool though because the earth star and the soul star would be in our capsule so it's uh -huh. a, yeah I see what you're and I like that you were going vertically because I was going hard they were showing me horizontally so that's interesting I like this well, it was interesting because it was like this at first, but then the tornado was spiraling up. So it was almost going out because at first it wasn't tornado. It was just this kind of like almost DNA thing going. Voop, voop, voop. And then it was like, voop, voop, voop. and then the tornado would turn back in on itself and go back down, um, just like consuming itself. Yeah. You know? But like, that's what I saw. It was like an infinity sign, but it was like a, like a cone and a cone on top of a cone, like that way, mm -hmm. but of energy, almost like DNA. But I saw mm -hmm. like a, a shock wave almost on the, that's cool. So interesting. Okay, so shark pinata, I have to look, pinata. Okay, um, I'm just gonna share because there's some healers here. I did a healing on, uh, girl that got vaccinated, there was a, a cloud plate um, in her crown chakra. She had been dealing with uh, no dreams and disconnected from her guides. So I did remove that, but um, her impression of it was from the vaccine. So if you are working on anybody with the vaccine, look for a, a plate from the crown to the soul star. Sorry. Okay, so bring your consciousness into the chaoticness and the obstructions of your sacral, literally the stomach of your body, your temple, intestines, liver, stomach. Be a little person in your womb and not like a baby in a be like literally a little you walking around this life i even want to say your astrological map is mapped out in the sacral and you have to figure out how to navigate and where to find your purpose If you see an organ being highlighted or you're drawn to it, write it down or make a strong mental note and look it up like a spiritual meaning of a liver, spiritual meaning of intestines. Look that up because you might have um, insight. It also might be something if you see the liver, you might have a fatty liver and um, so you can look up Dr. Berg, fatty liver or something like this as well. If you don't have a visual, you can feel and then look up the anatomy after. You can grab a torch. Shine it upon the walls. You can walk in your intestines if you want. You can start to make this place look 
the way that you want it to look too. If you see anything wounded, go over and give it support. When you get a check mark, then paint that area into whatever your creativity, freedom of creativity wants to. What do you want your purpose and passion and, and beautiful place not so obstructed? Any wounds, just, you'll have scar tissue in the womb, we all do. A lot of things where we bit our tongue or cried in silence will be in our womb. So make sure you're bandaging up any wounds, giving love to them, giving energetic medicine, giving support, recognizing how strong you've been and fill up those areas with more perseverance, more than ever. Fill up this whole womb with perseverance. Courage. Consistency. And brighten the color. That way you don't trip over things. There's so much stuff in this small area. I'm surprised I don't fall more often. I need more clarity in my womb. I need more clarity in my sacral. I need more clarity on the path of which I need to walk to bring me to vote towards my devoted purpose and passion. I need this place to be sacred. I need those wounds and traumas to be transmuted at this time into loving support. Have the energy vortex transmuting the energy of trauma, self-sabotage, clumsiness, Coward, cowardness, superficial, people pleasing, and transmuted into authenticity, truth, and wellness. Up and down, side to side, diagonally as well. And now what they're actually showing me is we're almost going to create like a alternative realm for our organs to house them in their own place, to give them their own sacred place, which is a sub place from our creative place of our sacral chakra. So the liver will have its own place to function in its own, giving it more space to function more properly, more abundantly. Our minds compartmentalize things and we do know space and time reality on not just the third dimension, but others. So 
we can create space and we don't need to be so claustrophobic and our livers, our brains, our everything will thrive more with the attention that they need on an individual level as well. And so I'm just seeing like organs on the walls so that I know that they're there and I can see their vitality or their, their vitals. I can see how they're doing, but the, my space is becoming brighter and decluttered. And it's looking more like a room that I can decorate. I'm starting to feel more ease. What is it that you want to create? If you had the freedom, the financial freedom to do whatever you wanted, be wherever you want to be, doing whatever you want to do. What would that look like? You can put them in pictures on the wall so you don't clutter this area with dreams and desires, but more to inspire you. You can always jump in those pictures to investigate them further to see how they inspire you now. We don't always have to be there to feel there. Just three big, deep breaths, cleansing breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just breathe in that space. When you breathe in, you're expanding. When you breathe out, it's the same beautiful, peaceful freedom of your creativity and authenticity of why you're here. Breathe it out. Breathe it in. Bring life to it. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. and fill it with orange and yellow and red hues. Bring your heart into it, right into the center of it. And above your heart, there is a cord of light that goes through your upper chakras, including your expression and your vision and your clarity that remaining in your heart. And connect to your soul star. So that insight of divine connection, support, oneness, is there with you and connect with the earth star chakra all in your capsule all working in unison you are supported you are protected you are safe and secure to create whatever you wish to Find your inspiration. It's in this capsule. Moshina makati da kotona mashi. Mora masha yatora masha kata. Akata kotora rasha ha. Bora rasha yateri kotora bashi. Na kotona makata yatei kotona makati. Bora masha hati da kotora bashi. Boha shira otora ha, 
दो हाश गो रहा हार शे तो रहा हे मो रहा शे तो रहा हार गो तार को तार पर शे तो दाश बोते रहे कती रो को तो रहे तो and expand your love for yourself all in your capsule come to a place of gratitude gratitude for the space to create gratitude for the support that you have gratitude for the protection that you are and gratitude for the oneness that you breathe So I feel a lot of activity in the third eye and crown. So drink water, at least two cups of water. And I'm gonna end the meditation here and then I'm just gonna talk with the group.